welcome to Body Fixers. Hello. Hi. A pop-up salon with a mission to fix your botched bodies and horrific hair. Oh. The more you touch it, the bigger it gets. So if your look is more freak, then on fleek, it is quite small. Then these are the pros to help. Hairdressers Daniel and Nathan. Beauticians April and Melissa. Makeup artist Alex. And cosmetic doctor Esho. Together they'll tackle the dumbest. I completely shave them off. No. Grossest. And most outrageous beauty disasters. My lips actually exploded. Oh my god. <laughs> they guarantee to turn all fails fierce. You're gonna let smoke it hard. <laughs> it's a loony. Holy crap. Oh, I'm so I'm gonna cry. They are. The body fixes. You're obsessed with dusting. I'm not dusting. Cleaning. Just a bit down at the bottom there. In there? Yeah, you missed a bit. She's a good scrubber. <laughs> <laughs> you two. Hi. You're right, and I'm Jordan. I just wanted to see a beautician, please. Come on, Thank you. Okay, so what brings you in? Okay, so basically, um, London Pride's coming up soon. So, um, I want something done that's quite like out there and quite wicked um, and unusual. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, I'm 25 and I'm from a small town called Wensbury. Even though it's like a small town and that, I love a good night out. People pretty much know. Halfway through the night, the shirt gets unbuttoned slowly. Then the trousers get undone. One night, I got kicked out for it, but everyone remembers me still from that night. I've done like Birmingham Pride this year and I'm really looking forward to going to London Pride. It's going to be my first one. Pride is like a massive festival celebration. How to be who you are. I need to go down there with something done that will make me stand out from the crowd. And I think I've got a wicked idea. After a few drinks, the kit comes off. People are going to see it 100%. The only problem is, because of me living in like a small town, if I went in and asked somewhere, like, oh, can you do this for me? They're going to be a bit like, what? I need the body fixer's help to get my, like, idea to reality. Oh, if I was, like, show you what I'd need doing, it might sort of, like... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. yeah so, sure. um, okay. Basically. Oh. Yeah. Where are we going with this? These are boring. <laughs> so, basically, I need these sort of 
frazzled up a little bit. Hey, what are you planning on getting that so, out? So, well, a few drinks and you never know, clothes fly and so, yeah. Uh-huh. Pull that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is what I need. Okay, so what are you thinking? Maybe like some like bright colour, like yeah, just something out there. Maybe like bright pink. Mm, yeah. yeah. yeah and maybe like a shape. Have you got any any designs in mind? Um, there was like one design, but I didn't know if I'll have like enough to do it. It was going to be like a little crown. Okay. A crown. crown. Maybe like like the jewels, crown sort of. Your family so, jewels. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of line. Going. That line. That's a nice idea. Yeah. So we yeah. can colour it, shape it, bling it up. Why not? What would you do with the sack and stuff? Would you colour that? No. Whoa. Maybe. You have to go there, Daniel. Don't you such a boy? <laughs> Does anyone know that you're going to have this done or are you um, just going to No, surprise? it's going to be like a surprise, so I'll get home and be like, Mum, look! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more your friends, but oh, your mother! <laughs> <laughs> right then, well, there's no time like the present. Should we just get on with it? Yeah, let's do it. Come do on, it, follow then. me. Thank you. I thought he was going to get his John Thomas out then. I did I wonder. I thought he was going to get a whole cock eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, whoa. You like... It's his first time I think he's mm. ever been on reception. Put the chair behind you. It's the first you? time I've not been busy. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would you do if the phone rings? Give it to you. <laughs> he hasn't got a clue. <laughs> Just going to clean my cactus. Look, he's so, he is so out of his comfort zone. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Meg. Hello, Meg. Okay. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, I need to speak to a beautician, please. That's great. Come on over. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good, thank you. How's everybody? Hello. Really Hi. good. So, I need some help today. Okay. Um, I need a pretty dark tan, okay. like, as in, like, terracotta. I am the beauty therapist, so I can definitely help you. Okay. What's this all about, though? What are you doing? So, I have been training for, like, eight months to compete in a bikini fitness competition. Okay. It's like, lean, muscular ladies mm-hmm. with mahogany tans. Oh, no, it's me you want to see. Oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry. God. Sorry. Oh. Don't mind if I grab this one. <laughs> Daniel, our beauty therapist. Shameless. Yes. It's not your usual tan. It's no. like... I totally know the colour that you're looking to go. Like you couldn't walk around in the streets with it. Yeah, no. We were not going to do a spray tan. We're going to do a proper bodybuilder tan. Do you, do you roller it on? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you be up for showing us your little muscular body? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> your eyes lighting up, babe. The bikini, you're not trying to look like hugely muscular. Yeah. But, so it's more of like. sitting here looking at you, I feel like I recognise you from somewhere. 
there's, there's kind of two of me. Two of, two of you? Well, I'm a twin. We did a little show called Skins a little while ago, and we were the twins with the angular fringe and red hair. You look so different now. Oh, that's amazing, because you've got the most amazing talking voice I think I've ever heard. Yeah. I'm trying to make mine a little bit more gravelly. Don't sound like that. <laughs> no, you don't sound like that. But I thought that was sexy, and yours is quite sexy. That yeah, was so you do wrong. a very sexy really voice. Really sexy voice. Not a deep, gravelly voice like a bloke. <laughs> And I don't want you to punch me. I really want to sound like you, that's so sexy. <laughs> you said what? But no, it's really nice. So with your tan, we're talking proper mahogany, dark. Yeah. Are you doing the makeup? Yeah, well, we can't let you see what you're going to look like with a big white face. Yes, thank you. Do you want to come on down? Yep. Cool. <laughs> Bye, boys. I want your body. Everybody wants your body. So let's check. Let's check. You see the colour, you will be like, really? And I shouldn't even call it tan. It's closer to being rubbed in poo. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> they should say, like, can you poo me out? <laughs> Does it stink? Well, it's not really poo, Dan. before I apply the beautiful colour. Brilliant, Wicked. We want a nice dazzling crown. Perfect. I wonder if this is going to catch on with the real royals. Could you imagine, like, Prince Harry? Like, oh, Prince Harry, up, definitely. Like, <laughs> I need one of these done. He could be my next client. A royal crotch. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> royal crotch! Royal crotch. Coming up. <laughs> wow. You feeling more jardy already? Why I? <laughs> oh my god. Someone's been on holiday for a very long time. <laughs> Welcome back to Body Fixers, the pop-up shop for beauty flops. I'm a mess. <laughs> Jordan's asked Melissa to pimp his pews for pride. What would you do with the sack? <laughs> and April's got a roller out to give bodybuilder Meg a thorough basting. You wait till you see the colour. You will be like, really? <laughs> Yes, always. Look what she's doing to my thumb. It, that's not a real massage. Yes, it is. is. Yeah. Go on, that sorry. Is not a real massage. How's it going? Yeah, good, man. Come on, grab a seat, man. Yeah, right there, mate. I'm Nathan. How's it going? I'm nice Carl. To meet you, Carl. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Scooch up for me, Melissa. Nice to meet you. Uh, got a problem with my hair. I've basically had this problem for like seven years. The look I'm trying to achieve as best as I can every morning, which takes up to two hours just for the hair, is like your typical like slick back straight. But basically the routine is I've got to wash my hair, condition it, then I've got to like put some heat proof spray in it, then I've got to blow dry it, then I've got to straighten it, 
and then I've got to put some more heat proof spray in it. And then I've got to put this oil treatment stuff in it. Then I've got to straighten it sort of like this back. And then I've got to blow dry it again. Then I've got to lock it in with hairspray. And if I lock it in with hairspray wrong, I've got to start all over again. You start again. Wow. <laughs> it's like, it's that bad. You're high maintenance, um, aren't you? No, I just yeah. want to look. Oh, yeah, I just is. try and look the best I can because obviously for like business and stuff. What well, is your profession? I'm a DJ and I also paint and decorate as well. Okay. So I can't really always turn up to people's houses wearing a hat. I'll show you what I've got to deal with if you want to see it. I've got, yeah, yeah. If you're ready for it. I'm yeah. dying to see what's under that hat. Okay. There you go. Whoa. It's like a bird's nest, isn't it? It's literally, if you looked in it hard enough, there's probably pigeon eggs in it. Yeah. Can I have a touch? Yeah, of course you can. Oh my God, like literally, the more you touch it, the bigger it gets. It's usually what happens. <laughs> <laughs> You can't let him leave with this bird's we've got, nest. We've got options. No like what? Shave it off? No. <laughs> <laughs> you shave my hair off, I'll get you sacked. <laughs> no way. <laughs> he wouldn't do I wouldn't do that. I just want it tidy. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just a nightmare. Doing your hair with the heat every day, yeah. with the blonde in it. It's damaged it, so you can't put a relaxer or a straightener on that. Okay. So it will just damage it even more. Yeah. But what we can do is we can use a Brazilian blowout. You heard of those? Hey, this is not like a Brazilian wax. Nah. I've heard of them, but I don't actually... A keratin blow dry. Oh. So I see putting keratin back into the hair to be more manageable, smoother. So it's just yeah. a little lotion you put on. And then you heat it in. That yeah. sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. It does. yeah. You have to leave it in for about three days to kind of let itself harden. Can you not like wash wash your hair? Three like, days, mate. I don't mind not washing my hair for a year if it sorts it out. Well, let's get started and tame the beast. <laughs> oh, pal, come on. Uh. See you later. See you later. Tame the beast. <laughs> Another blow dry and another straightening and another blow dry. <laughs> just, that is commitment. That is commitment to the look. I just shave my hair off and stick a cap on. Low maintenance. Low maintenance. <laughs> These curls are wicked. So many people say that, but Daniel, mate, to be honest, it's just not going to happen. Curls I, I get the don't... girls, bruv. I don't like it curly. <laughs> okay. We'll get started then. Praise the Lord. parties and stuff like that with the cast and crew. Well, we were uh, six, uh, 16, 17, yeah. so... Um, Couldn't have been that wild. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was really fun. Like, a lot of us were at college at the same time, so yeah. uh, we had that to deal with as well. But whenever we could go out and have fun, we did. What does your sister make of all of this? Um, she's, she's really supportive. She's not planning on... Competing. I don't think so. I mean, I know she goes to the gym and she keeps healthy. Yeah. But I, I don't think it's something that she's ever had much interest in. Uh, okay. Right, as much as I'm enjoying the view of your glorious bottom, I might need you to turn around and do the front of your legs. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
hard and how's this feeling for you? Um, it's feeling like someone's got their nails into my skin and like, yeah, like ripping <laughs> <laughs> the skin off my stomach. You want it, babe. I know. <laughs> Are you going out anywhere nice tonight? A few drinks in town and it might be a bit of a dance. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of a, a bit bit of a dance. <laughs> <laughs> Vasily Meg is now tanned and ready for her bikini body competition. And now I've got to make the pasty face match her terracotta body. How you're sitting right now would freak out any makeup artist. Why? Because you've got this thing that we call a floating head. <laughs> where your head <laughs> doesn't match the rest of your body. So tell me something, when this competition is done, you've been on the stage and you're finished, are you just going to go and stuff your face with donuts? My plan is to eat so many that I put myself off them, so I don't want them again. But no. <laughs> you really kidding me? That's a plan, don't ruin it. <laughs> Jordan thought his pubes were too boring to show off at Pride but I've transformed them into a pink crown. It's a new experience for both of us. Are you ready to see the crown jewels? Starting to see her. Dying You've done her. very well not to peek. Okay, follow me. I'm ready. I'm so excited. Me too. Your boring bush has been bleached, waxed, dyed, and blinged up. And now it's ready to give us a royal wave. It looks wicked, it literally looks wicked. Love it, love it. You can tell us by like it's actually a crow when you're looking at it. That's got to be the blingiest. Blingiest, pointiest, <laughs> kiss pubes ever. Are you going to keep up with this? I think it's gonna be a bit of a new trend of mine. It might be like some like smiley faces <laughs> and all different shapes, colours, the lot. Why not? Why, Why not? not? 2016, the Pnazzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out later, so my bit of my appearance tonight. I'm oh. not out, so. <laughs> I don't want you to keep this no, no, away. No, no, it's too good to hide away, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, actually. It was through the pain. Yeah, through the pain as well. It's worth it seeing this now. Well, you did really well. Thank you so much, thank you. Oh, you're going to have to get 
So you're a DJ? Yeah. DJ, I, I produce music as well. Yeah. And a bit of singing as well. So you're all round entertainer then? Could say that, yeah. Are you the life and soul of a party? In school, I was the class clown, because I used to do a lot of impressions. What kind of so impressions? I've been told I'm good at Alan Carr. Can you do Alan Carr, yeah? Well, we had Cheryl Cole on the show, Martin Garrix next week. They should be paying me more for this, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's really good, I love that. Meg needed an extreme tan for her bikini fitness competition. Now she's ready to get out there and show off those muscles. Let's go have a look in the mirror and you can see if this is the right colour for you and if you feel like you're ready for the competition now, yeah? Okay, okay. alright. Oh, <laughs> right, Meg, so you ready to have a little look? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Came in asking for a rich mahogany tan to enhance your muscles. To get a look that extreme, I had to roll the colour on. But now you're competition ready. Is much better. This is crazy. I've never seen myself as tanned in my entire life. So is this a good shot or is this like a oh my gosh I'm never doing this again shot? I mean this is a I would only ever do this for the stage but yeah but yes I mean I just I... Someone's been on holiday for a very long time. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. You can go have a closer look if you want. Just don't touch the mirror, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the day, I'm not going to be able to touch anybody. Especially when you win and everyone wants to run and cuddle you. Don't jinx me. <laughs> when you win. If I had a body like that, I would definitely be showing a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> no questions asked. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't touch so us. This yeah. way. <laughs> Don't touch, don't touch the banister. Do this without. Come on. <laughs> Still to come. You know, right, I would say. <laughs> My name, Carl. What? I'm a bit nervous. Yes, I'm very nervous. <laughs> Welcome back to Body Fixers, where we redress your beauty mess. Oh my god! Carl's short and curlies are out of control. Literally, but a bird's nest, isn't it? But Daniel's got a treatment to batten down his barnet. Do you want to come have a seat? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, hey darling, how are you? You Hello. good? How can we help you? Uh, I mean, I just need some help with everything, just fixing everything. What, in general? Yeah, I mean, I don't really have any time or a clue how to do it for myself. <laughs> I'm 26 and I live in Gloucester. I look after horses. It's really not a glamorous job. I'm generally covered in poo. It's normal that I've always got it under my nails or on my face. <laughs> horses show their affection by licking, dribbling on you sneezing and snotting on you because I spend all my time making the horses look pretty I don't get much time to make myself look pretty my hair's always a mess I generally don't even bother brushing it I haven't even got a clue where to start with makeup It makes me feel like I don't really want to put myself out there when I go out. If I am approached, generally it's, Hi, so who's your friend? Which makes me feel a little bit, a little bit sad. To look in the mirror and actually feel good about the person looking back at me, I can't even explain how much it would mean to me. So you look after the horses, make yeah. them look beautiful, Yeah. but you don't do it for yourself? No, I haven't even got a clue where to start. I used to have two ponies. Did you? Yeah, oh. and they were called Whisper and Diva. <laughs> and I used to get so tired, because you don't have time, do you? Like, you They're can't... They're really hard work, and they don't even appreciate it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Once you've made them look gorgeous, they go out in the field and roll in mud. So, I mean, I promise I won't do that if yeah. you can help me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> So, with this makeover, are we going head to toe with it? If possible. Yeah? No. What about makeup? Oh, definitely. I'd love yeah. to get my hands dirty. <laughs> or let's not go with the dirty bit. Yeah. yeah. And what are you thinking, April? Well, I'd love to do your nails, because then if we put some little gels on them, they won't chip when you're doing oh, fucking cool. out and feeding. So, can we see your hair now? You yeah, sure? go on, go for it. I want to okay. see it. It's probably like matted into my actual hairband. <laughs> Ooh, <all right. laughs> You're in a right old state. <laughs> We've got a bit of straw going on back here. We've got a bit of hay, you know. It's not in no. good condition. You don't brush it, do you? Very rarely. It is really dry split. at the end yeah. and split, yeah. Should we go downstairs and get started? Yes, Let's please. go for it. See you down there. See you down there. Oh, I just clicked, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's left his phone. Don't scroll. Should we, um, I don't know Nathan's code. Pointless. What would it cost a month to keep the horse, would you say? To keep my horse a month, £400-ish, so... Well, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. So you spend £400 a month on the horses. Yeah. But what do you spend on yourself? Maybe, like, £12. <laughs> spends two hours of every day trying to tame that massive mop on top of his head. 
I've applied a keratin treatment to relax and condition those curls and give him a slick look he's after. Right, Carl. All right, looking smooth and dapper. Shall we um, go and have a look? Yeah, go and do it. Go yeah. and have a look. Cool. If you like this, this is going to cut two hours of your drying time down in the mornings. And if I don't like it, I'm in, I'm in Wash shit. it up the next. <laughs> <laughs> you best hope I like it because I don't trust anyone. Let's have a little look then. Okay. All right. So you came in with your frizzy bird's nest hair. And we've smoothed it out with a nice keratin treatment. That should solve your problems. You ready? Okay. Look at that. What? Smooth. Oh my god. It should feel totally different texture. That's amazing. Now I'll tell you what, give me a high five on that. That is Very sick. When I walked in, it was like uh, my whole hair had a fucking erection. Now, it's on a flop, but it's like a good flop. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? In the words of Alan Carr. Do you know what? I'll give you a 10 out of 10. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Seriously, the amount of years I've spent trying to control this heap of mess on my head. If you really like it and the way it kind of feels, every time you have it done, it gets better and better. I don't know what to say, but thanks, though. Hey, so much. <laughs> thanks, man. So glad. So, Isa, I bet you're wondering what the hell I'm doing. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to hand paint some colour on and doing it this way I can really see, you know, your hair and the lengths I want to apply the colour. So it's kind of called fluid hair painting. Oh, cool. Do you think this is something you might try on them um, horses' manes? <laughs> <laughs> Could do it through their tails. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be here for a while, by the way. So okay. I hope you've been to the loo. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> So how come you made each other a cup of tea? She was in there. She said, you make a brew, and I said yes. Also, yours is like chai, Four. soya, flat white. I got. I walk into any any coffee shop now, and they know it's me who's ordered it. Oh, here's it's the like pretentious this. prick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for seeing me. So how can we help you then? Basically, when I smile, my lips go really straight thin. Give us a big smile. OK. I um, see what you mean. Yeah, I do yeah. see what you mean. Yeah, basically, they just go really thin and mm. there's just no volume to them. And How long have you lived with this issue. <laughs> with my lips. <laughs> with, yeah. with, like, like being yeah. self-conscious of them. When I was in primary school, um, somebody did mention, this is what stuck in my head, somebody did mention, like, 
the way I smiled, like how thin my lips were. Yeah. And then I would say it mainly started at the end of high school, um, yeah. when when you started wearing makeup and and stuff like that. That's that's when I really started to notice, like, wow, I've got I've got like no lips, basically. Yeah. Thing, if you are hung up about something, yeah. every time you look in that mirror, you see it. Yeah. I, I don't take photos of myself and never ever take selfies or anything. So what about when you're out and about with your mates or stuff like that and people taking photos and um, things? I don't tend to go out really with my friends. Yeah. It sounds quite sad but sometimes I, I see all these people dressing up and making a real effort and then I'm like, why, why should I bother? I'm not going to look nice yeah. when I've... Oh, you that's how I feel like so. that. No, you yeah. shouldn't. Well, how do you want them? What's, what, um, what lip is your desire? I just want some plumpness in my lips. Um, like, say, Charlotte Crosby uh, yeah. from Jodie Shaw. Um, I think her lips are fantastic. She's had a massive transformation. Yeah, she looks brilliant. Um, so I would like just just even a little bit of volume just yeah, to make my course. confidence a bit better. This is absolutely 100% one for Dr. Escher, if that's something that... That you know, would be amazing, yeah, that would yeah. be brilliant. I would be so happy. Samantha, shall we go? Let's get cracking, come on. Follow me. See you, girls. See ya. Would you ever get down? No. No? No, never. Give me a little pout. You go really thin when you do it. You do go like a bit like a cat's bum. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable, but you're in safe hands, I promise you. Is it just your lips that you're unhappy with, or would you get anything else done? I would get my boobs done. Really? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. We're not doing that I've managed to get out of your uh, cuticles and stuff. How much do you think is horse manure? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had this much attention on you at once? No. I just haven't really ever found the time. to get you to myself now because I kind of feel like we've got like a, a like a horse connection yeah I you know. felt that oh you got it too yeah as soon as I walked in you did yeah you look like a horsey person I look like a horsey person I mean like in a good way like you like like the I got the vibe you don't really think I look a hot steer. No, not at all. Oh, I cry. Your skin is unbelievable. Thank you. And I love a blank canvas to work on. I'm definitely a blank canvas. Exactly. <laughs> Lift up your chin for me. First, we're going to do four injections. And what will happen? is from down here, downwards, you're not gonna do it. Okay. Well done. Here we go. What did that feel like? Just, it just feels cold and numb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Got a droopy mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to kick in fully. Yeah, are you feeling more Geordie already? Why, I. <laughs> <laughs>
Isa spends so much time grooming horses, she forgets to spend any time on herself. So Alex, April and I have turned her from grubby to glamorous. We've completely finished everything now. Okay. And I think we need to go over there and check it out. Ready? Yeah, I think Let's so. Let's go over see. Isa, when you came in, you asked for a total transformation. Your hair was all piled up on your head, never seen a brush. Dirty nails. Your dirty nails. And now you are perfectly manicured. The hair's amazing. The makeup's fantastic. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay. You're looking absolutely amazing. I do not say I don't want to cry. Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, bless you. You've never seen yourself like this, have you? No. I feel like like a lady. Like I feel yeah. I don't feel like a just a shit shoveler. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely don't look like I a shit shoveler. Like a shit shoveler. No. Oh my god. I didn't think I'd look like this. I really didn't think I'd look like this. I'm, uh, I'm over the moon and I'm in shock. <laughs> well, it is a big, big difference, absolutely. It's a huge difference. You deserve it. And you're working it. You look great. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up. It's got a bit too big. It's a bit of a problem for me. Oh my god! Welcome back to Body Fixers, where we bang up your beauty hang ups. Love it. I'll give you a 10 out of 10. And Dr. Eshio is sorting the perfect power for selfie phobic sound. I don't take photos of myself and never ever take selfies. Oh. We did have a client in once and she was like, oh, I want my fringe, I want my fringe cut in. Actually, I've got a photo, got a photo out and it wasn't a fringe. It was her. Minge. Yeah, it wasn't the fringe, it was the minge. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, I'm Tom. Hi. I've got a problem that I was hoping you could help me with. Yeah, sure, do you want to come on over? Absolutely. See? Hey mate, you alright? How are you doing? You good? Hi, Tom. Hello there. <laughs> so how can we help you? I'm here to get rid of an old friend, but I don't feel like I can do it myself. Or well, get rid of a friend? Yeah. We're not really the people to get rid of friends. And tell me what he's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the beard. The beard? Yeah, there is really? that. It's got a bit too big and it's a bit of a problem for me. a big one. My name's Tom, I'm 25 and I'm from Coventry. I've had a beard for about 18 months and it's sort of become who I am. My mum doesn't like the beard. I really don't like his beard. She's always hated it. It just makes him look untidy. She says it puts 10 years on me. Sorry Tom. <laughs> 
He has told me it's a bit of a, a babe magnet. All the women like it. <laughs> a lot of stuff gets caught in my beard, food, drink, hands. In the morning, whenever I'm brushing my teeth, I have to have a shower afterwards. Um, the toothpaste goes everywhere. I look like I've got rabies. I've thought about trying to cut the beard off, but every time that I try, I, I physically just I can't do it. It's become who I am. It would need to be someone else. I may even need to be restrained. My mum's getting married shortly. I want him to walk me down the aisle without his beard. I think it would be a nice touch if I was to get rid of it for the occasion. My mum's getting married, so I think it's about time to smarten up. OK. You're going to cut that off? That's taken a couple of years to grow, right? 18 months. Can I see how long your whiskers are? Because yeah. I can see them coming right down. Let's have a look at that. Oh, my God. So, what's the worst meal to eat with a beard like that? Curry. Oh, yeah. Ribs. <laughs> ribs. <laughs> Ice ribs. cream. Anything. I haven't eaten ribs for 18 months. If you're getting kind of romantic with a girl, does the beard get in the way? Yeah, it gets in the way of, of everything, really. How long have you been single for? 18 months. OK, so about the same time you started growing a plunge sponge. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. No, that you cool. didn't. <laughs> I do think beards are kind of, they're going now. I think they were, yeah. they I were think massive and everyone wanted one. Yeah, the novelty's worn off. So the plan is get rid of the beard, smarten the hair up. Yeah. Ready for your mum's wedding, yeah? Exactly it. Should be a proud mum. Yeah. And hopefully you'll pull at it, you know. You never know. Should we go down and get started? Absolutely. Let's go for it, mate. Let's give it a go. Let's go. Cool. I might, I might grow mine for a couple of weeks. Don't think you can. It's great. Sam wants a full pout, like a lip idol, Charlotte Crosby from Geordie Shaw. I've given her some injections of local anaesthetic, so now she's ready for the filler. So what we're going to do now is this little bowl tool. We're just going to place against the lip, and I'm just going to use it just to move your lip in different shapes while I inject the actual dermal filler in. OK? your first official injection, how did that feel? Oh, I feel it. Good. Here we go. Are my lips together? Do you mean lips are together? I don't know if they're touching, if they're <laughs> open. I can't feel them. Well, they're open right now. OK. Close. <laughs> <laughs> this beard's seen a lot. Has it ever got itself into kind of like tricky or sticky situations? Airports are usually bad news. Oh, right, okay. Been to America a few times. Give you a funny look, do they? Oh, yes. Okay. Questioned a lot. Do you want to have one last moment with this beard? Give it a kiss. <laughs> there it is. It's gone. Feeling nervous, though? Yeah. Bit apprehensive. Yeah. Bit reluctant, but... Now's the time. No, no, you got to do it for your mum. That's it, yeah. Should we start? Let's do it. Look at that. That's pretty painful. 18 months worth of work. Yeah. 
gone. All for a wedding. All for a wedding. <laughs> in one snip. I do feel like I'm a pucker fish. Puffer fish. Yeah, one of those fishes with the big lips. You fishes have lips. Well, if they come and see you, <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's beard has been putting off the girls. Even his mum hated it. So with her wedding coming up, it was time for the big snip. So Tom, should we go over and take a look? Sure. Let's go for it, mate. Do you think you're missing your beard already? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I am. My heart's going a little bit. You came in today with a massive beard. You wanted to get rid of it for your mum's wedding. And we've definitely done that now. Ready for this? Yeah. Let's do it, mate. Wow. That is not something that I'm used to seeing. I really like it. It's like a time machine. What do you think your mum's going to think of it? Yeah, I think she's going to love it. Yeah? This is what she's been wanting for, for over a year now. I feel a bit emotional. Do you? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well, you was emotionally attached to the beer. Yeah, I was. It's not five years off you. Five years, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to go get myself some ribs. 18 months of not being able to have ribs. I mean, come on now. No one should have to do that. No. That's not worth living. I'm very happy with how this is going at the moment. If you were to have any enhancement, what would you have? No! <laughs> Don't look down <laughs> there! <laughs> Final fix. What about you? Um, I'd have a nose job and maybe a boob reduction. But just... Boob reduction? Yeah! The girls are crazy. I know, I girls you. are mad. Sam was extremely self-conscious about her thin lips. She was desperate for the perfect pout so she could start taking selfies. Now her lips have had time to heal. She's looking amazing. I think she's gonna love it. So, Samantha, I'm really excited about this case. How are you feeling? I'm really, really excited to see myself. I'm very nervous at the same time. You came in with some of the smallest lips I've probably seen. We took some dermal filler, we gave you some injections, and then Alex put the most perfect makeup just to make those lips pop. Now, I think we're gonna absolutely love them. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. God! How are you feeling? I'm just gobsmacked. Yeah. I really am. And it feels fantastic to pout. Finally been able to pout. Like you're gonna cry. Yeah, I love them. Oh, I don't. You okay? Thank you. Oh, it's Thank my you. pleasure. It's my absolute pleasure. They look amazing. They're just not thin anymore, and there's just some volume there, and they just stand out. Yeah. I love them. TJ. Yeah. <laughs>
Look at these lips. That is amazing. How do you feel? I don't know. Speechless. They don't even feel like my lips, but they're on my face, so they're, they're my lips. <laughs> they're definitely on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Can I take a selfie? Let's take a selfie. She wants to take a selfie. I want to take a selfie, my face. This is I'm amazing. Going for a selfie. I'm going for a selfie. Oh, I've it got lip so envy cool. now. I'm the little lips on the end. I know, sorry, I'm just born with these. Can duck face? Pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Next time on Body Fixes. Would you mind if we double team you? That's insane. I'm really, really hairy. Whoa. I wanted to go for blonde. Do you want hair on your head? Or do you want to take it home in a takeaway bag? I thought you were going to have a good old scratchy laugh. Back off, Gillian McKeith. Oh. No going back now, babe. Do you reckon? <laughs> Oh my god, you don't know what you've done. You ready for this? Oh my fucking god. And you can see that at the same time next week, just before Brand New Empire, over on Channel 4 next, something else brand new and something containing a brand, Joe Brand and Alan Davies star in the brand new comedy Damned. Making life as a social worker look like a lot of fun. That's over in the big four here on the little purple one. Well, it can go one or two ways. Let's find out if Cupid's arrow is headed in the right direction. Or will it have somebody's eye out? In first aid, Sibrod.